Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here from Batman Brave and the Bold, Season 2, Part 2, uh, 4 episodes, as always, 7 through 10, the numbering's all wonky, but that's fine. Um, always start from the top, uh, Clash of the Metal Man. Uh, so this episode started once again with the Starro, which we saw once before, and it was a to be continued, and we were like, what, like the opening is to be continued? Uh, but now, evidently, Starro has Aquaman, so to be continued. Uh, but the main point of the episode is Doc Magnus, who I thought freakishly looked like Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Metal Men, which is Iron Mercury Lead, Gold, and Platinum, versus the Gas Gang, which is Oxygen, Helium, Hydrogen, and Carbon Dioxide, I think. Um, so I've seen the Metal Men many times before. I know who they are. Uh, what did you think of the Metal Men? Too many characters to try mm -hmm. to keep track of. Mm -hmm. but it was this one was a. Um, yeah, like especially like little gangs like that. It is a lot at one time, and then I've always seen them just fight like one villain at a time. So to fight a whole other gang, it was it was. I had to write it down. I wasn't mm -hmm. ready for it. Right. Um, the next episode, Bat Divided. We see the opening scene is the root as the Riddler versus booster gold your favorite and then the main episode is about firestorm who i've seen other versions of before but this one is a student and his gym coach and they end up getting fused together uh, and then batman gets separated into three parts the smart version the tough version and the slacker stoner version and he even says, he's like, I got the munchies. Yeah. I was like, wow, he's he's a stoner. Okay. This this one, yeah, this one was okay. Um I don't know. There I'm I'm not so used to watching these types, so I don't know. <laughs> to me, I, I thought I kept dozing a little, <laughs> like in a, but not an interesting one? Yeah, no, I didn't None of the episodes really were okay. something, I don't know, maybe it's because we've been, haven't done it for so long. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like them, you can say that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, the next one, because I don't agree, like the Metal Man wasn't that great, the Bat Divided didn't get me. Uh, Superman, the Super Batman of Planet X, uh, this one, I, I will admit, I loved this one, I thought this was great. Uh, we see Matches Malone who was a character, an undercover character of Batman that started in the animated series. So we've seen him before. Um, but mostly it's about Batman being on another planet. And then Zurinar Batman, who's like a Batman in like a red, bluish mm -hmm. outfit. Uh, who I always thought was from like another dimension. This one made it seem like he was just an alien. Um, so the interesting thing that I liked about this one is this one kind of flips the story. So instead of Batman, he's really Superman. Mm -hmm. So there's like a Lois Lane character and there's a, a Lex Luthor character. And like the Lois Lane character is voiced by the actress who played Lois Lane in the Superman Adventures. And same for the Lex Luthor. He's voiced by Kevin Con or he's voiced by Clancy Brown. But the Batman Zurin R is Kevin Conroy. For the, the mm -hmm. Batman, the, the animated adventure. So I just love hearing his voice and him kind of come back. Mm -hmm. um, anything stand out for this one? or This one was a little better. I mean, yeah, I recognize the uh, Lois Lane voice. Oh. And yeah, yeah, this one it was a little bit, I, I agree with you, it was a little bit more exciting to mm -hmm. watch. And then the last one for this group, The Power of Shazam, which it is literally impossible for me to say Shazam without, like, channeling my inner Gomer pile. Like, Shazam! Surprise, surprise, surprise. Um, once again, we get the Styro, so hopefully they better do something soon. Um, but mostly it's about Billy Batson and just kind of him doing his little Shazam thing with Black mm -hmm. Adam and stuff like that. Uh, my favorite part was... The end scene where the villain has gotten the Shazam powers and then Batman mispronounces the name. And he's like, no, I'm using the powers of Shazam and tricks him into saying it. 
-hmm. and then he loses his powers. I was like, that's actually pretty good. I like that. Um, yeah, I like the beginning of it, you know, when he was in the dorm room and they me messed it up mm -hmm. for him mm -hmm. and uh, what if she, I like the... It's like a foster mom or something. Yeah, she comes in there. Or like an there orphanage thing. And tells him to clean it, this dorm room up now. Mm -hmm. And then he, she walks out and probably moved back five steps mm -hmm. and he turns into Shazam and cleans it up and goes out and said, come look at it. And she's like, huh? Mm -hmm. No, no kid cleans his room that fast. But, yeah, it, this one was, I think, maybe the best. Okay. I like Shazam. I think he's an interesting character. I have a lot of fun with him. Um, the only thing about this one that kind of got me was the very, very end where, like, Batman finds his, like, twin sister. And it makes it seem like Batman's known who Billy Batson and Shazam are the entire time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why haven't you done research, like, this whole time? And then I don't I don't know the comics well enough to know if he actually has a twin sister. Because I know in some comics, he lives like in an orphanage or a foster home. And like, mm -hmm. there, he has a bunch of brothers and sisters. But right. as, as far as a twin sister, I have no idea if that's mm -hmm. in the comics right. or not. But, right. um, any closing thoughts for this group of episodes? No. Hopefully I stay awake for the next four. <laughs> no. Right. We'll just stick the puppies on you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for those who have seen them, go ahead. Let us know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we will see you guys next time.